guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to get to talk to you both because, you know, I just finished watching the movie with you all yesterday after the red carpet, and I want to know exactly what your thoughts are right now. The movie's done, and people are starting to see it. It comes out September 1st, but what are your thoughts right now? What are you feeling? Well, yeah, I really, it was such a blast to get everybody back together. It was just sort of yeah. a family reunion of sorts, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was, it was, uh, it was great to see everybody again. A lot of the cast and crew we hadn't seen since uh, we shot since production, which is now about two years, right? So yeah, a couple wow. of years. Yeah. Like I hadn't seen Will and his beard in a long time. <laughs> and yeah, super relevant. <laughs> yeah, very relevant. <laughs> I love it. And uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, the cast and everything. It was just great to no, see everybody. No, it was, and I mean. Uh, you really can't ask for a better opening to open at the Hollywood Arclight. We're oh, so okay. gracious to Smith Global Media for, for taking a chance on our film. And, and um, yeah, honestly, this whole, the whole project has been like a dream come true, but almost more. You, don't, you usually you know, don't have your, you have your pipe dream and then you expect to be disappointed. And, mm -hmm. and uh, we just keep getting, uh, just the, our pipe dream just sort of keeps being surpassed and it's, it's sort of, feels like we're on a game show or something, but. Oh. <laughs> well, and you guys are winning. <laughs> hashtag winning. Hashtag <laughs> winning. Does that sound like it probably it is now. Hashtag tiger blood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of tigers, I'm going to try to segment, segue this You're into. I'm so best. impressed yeah. right now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Into you dinosaurs. Perfect. Okay, so I've been doing some um, research slash social media stalking. Some um, digging, if some you will. Some Oh, mm, you hashtag, got me. I can't puns. keep up. That was really good. That was really good. Um, so you guys, just to see this come to life, and you, you know, in, in interviews, you said that you, as a kid, you loved dinosaurs. I did. So it, that must be insane to see this now come to life. And you were, he like, heavily influenced by the treasure of the Sierra Madre and Jurassic Park. I want to know if you were influenced at all by Ross from Friends. Ross from anthology. Friends. You want to know what? It's funny. Whoa. When I was a kid, <laughs> yeah. we're going back. We're, when, yeah. So when I was a kid, my parents were like, so we're from the Midwest. We're both from North mm -hmm. Dakota. Yes. And my parents were like super overly responsible and were like, I was not allowed to watch Friends growing no. up. No. Because I was like just young enough. I'm, I'm, tw I'm 28, you're 29. So I was like just young enough that like some of the subject matter was maybe a little risque for someone who was like growing up, you know, okay, especially yes. back then. I mean, yes. now we have, you know. Uh, everyone's. I, I we, we teach during the summers, and we have you know, uh, like eleven year olds being like, "Hey, what's your favorite show? Game of Thrones." I'm like, "You're ruined. Whoa. You're just ruined as a child." So um, I wasn't able to. I wasn't allowed to watch it growing up. So I've only recently found a love for Friends and realized he was a paleontologist and mm -hmm. was like, "Huh, well, uh, like who knew? Like I don't think of Friends. I had no idea. And think this is you're finding this out now live. Yep. Oh, this I didn't is breaking." I didn't watch. I didn't really watch Friends. I was more of a Seinfeld guy. This is crazy. I was, I was a Seinfeld yeah. guy. Yeah, I was yeah. a Seinfeld guy. We'll see. Mm -hmm. This this is what Friends is doing to us. It's bringing us together as friends. It's like true. It is still. Sounds still like I gotta watch Friends. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. So something else that I was looking at on Instagram, you you posted this really nice picture on set, and your caption said, "This project breathed new life into you when you were running short of breath." Mm. Would you like to expand on that a little bit? Uh, yeah, if you're gonna wax poetic, then you have to like back it up. Now I gotta, <laughs> now I gotta answer <laughs> for in it. The pudding. Yeah, no, it, uh, I mean, I was going through a lot of um, personal hardship and turmoil at the time. I was going through a, I was going through a divorce, and uh, uh, yeah, I did the divorce thing real early. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I was going, I was going through that at, at the time, and uh, just kind of feeling listless in a great many ways and um, you know I really I really feel that this that this movie you know in a way like uh, set me on track when I you know was just kind of floating through the ether you know what I mean well, this, this kind of brought up, me back down to earth you know we both came up uh, very shoestring budget really guerrilla filmmaking I mean mm -hmm. this is our first feature that's you know over a million dollars in budget it's the first feature that's over a hundred thousand dollars in budget and um, so with that you know we loved films and we we've, we've come up together that way um, and it's always rewarding but uh, there is a even now you know there's a certain amount of uh, uncertainty that comes with it and mm -hmm. so when we met John 
uh, Wanzik, the lead producer of the film, who, who sort of, this was sort of his passion project, his original, uh, the idea of, of the paleontology in the Badlands that, that originated with John, I mean, in a lot of ways, um, I mean, it changed our lives, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. to, to have an opportunity like this and to have someone um, really invest in, in your uh, field, you know what I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's life-changing, you know. Well, and you can really tell, you know, this is a very passionate project. You could see it last night at the premiere. Everyone, it's, it's a giant family. Um, and so I'm really excited for everyone to get to see this film. If you guys just want to say where can people find you on social media so we can follow you and see everything you're doing in the upcoming years, um, you can just tell me. Sure. Uh, I'm pretty much just at Stephen Maloney across the board. Uh, you'll find me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I'm not. I'm not on Snapchat at the moment. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Snapchat is fading. It's okay. That's good. Uh, awesome. Yeah. So that's where you can find me. Um, yeah. What else? You know, Zanga, MySpace. Let's go back. Whoa. Let's go back. My Zanga is like zero fight something. <laughs> it's, it's up. That's out there. Someone can yeah, find it. it. It it's still it's still out there. Yeah. There's some weird pretentious zombie posts on there. I think. Oh great. I oh fun. <sighs> fun. Uh, um, yeah, you can find me uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I believe my Twitter and and Facebook are both at Glazer Dan. Uh, and then my uh, Instagram is dan.glazer, so it's not not super challenging. I'm sure if you look us up, you can find yeah. some stuff. We also have a movie uh, coming out on uh, digital and uh, video um, and streaming and all of that uh, August 29th as well, called Oxen 3. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been a crazy month for us. We have that coming out August 29th uh, on iTunes and all that, and then and then Valley Bones September 1st uh, in 300 screens nationwide, which is I mean, we still can't believe it. It's mm -hmm. amazing. So. so excited for the both of you. And I'm, I'm sure we're going to see you guys again doing big things. Thank you so much for Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks very much.